Angular has a ng control status directive that will update elements with some built-in CSS classes that you can use to style elements based on their form state. This directive has a selector of the ng control attribute, and it's a built-in directive that is made available throughout the platform without needing to declare it. So it is automatically getting used anytime you use the ng control attribute on your elements. There are two pairs of CSS classes, the ng control status sets, that are designed to represent field changes ng touched and ng untouched, and ng pristine and ng dirty. The ng control status directive will toggle the CSS classes ng untouched and ng touched based on whether or not the associated control has been visited at least once or not. So over in the order sheet, on the initial load of the form, inspecting one of these form elements in the developer tools, we can see the ng-untouched class on it. And when I click in the field to put focus on it, it remains ng-untouched. But as soon as I leave focus from the element by clicking outside of it or tabbing out of it the state of the underlying control changes, and the ng control status directive changes the CSS class to be ng touched. Once it's switched to ng touched, it remains there until the form is re rendered. Now, ng pristine and its opposite, ng dirty, are there to indicate if the value of the control has changed from its default value. Clicking in the customer name input and checking it out in the CSS and the dev tools, the ng pristine class is still there. And typing a value in the input causes the CSS class to change to ng dirty. Now, just like the ng touch scenario, once this thing goes ng dirty, it stays ng dirty until the form is re rendered. So that means even if the control's default value is an empty string and the user clears out the form element, it will still be ng dirty. So keep that in mind when using the ng touch, ng untouched an ng-pristine, and ng-dirty combos. I'll make use of these in some design. Over in the order sheet component HTML file, there is a CSS class on the section item that the customer name input is in, named customer-name. That can be used to build the selector. So over in the order sheet component CSS file, there is already a rule for the customer-name class combined with the input type text as a descendant of it. I'll add a rule below that for the customer name class and the input element nested in it, where the input element has the class ng untouched. And I'll make this thing have a more pronounced border to indicate to the user that this field is important and that they should give it their focus. And if I hop back over to the browser, I can see the style there on the customer name field. And clicking in it, it remains there. And when I leave focus, the ng-untouched class is removed, and along with it, that style. I will cover how you can make use of ng-pristine in an upcoming video when I show what can be done with validation.